We're doing things a little bit differently today. Hopefully you guys don't mind because I'm going to do it anyway. Listen, I don't have any articles in front of me. I don't have a bunch of dots to connect here. I just have some things that I want to talk to you about that I find to be extremely important and things that we all need to be thinking of, be aware of, sometimes focusing on, sometimes focusing a little less on. So let me just start off with this. It is Tuesday. It is April the 18th. Hello, Squirrel Tribe. I hope everybody is having a good day. Now listen, there's a lot going on. We talk a lot about what's happening with the railroads, what's happening with chemical spills, what's happening with this new um, clean energy push, this new green deal with wind turbines, with solar panels, with everything else, with what's happening in the waterways, what's happening with new laws. Yesterday's video, I think everybody needs to go look at that if you have not seen it already. It's highly important for the people of Ohio and New Jersey, but also every single person in the United States, it pertains to you as well. What I want to talk to you about today is literally just all the things that have been on my mind that I think are important and I don't really know how to find the articles and do the things and, and make it a cohesive thing. So I'm just going to give you like little baby bullet points of stuff that I think we all need to be thinking about. So in January of this year, January of 2023, um, President Biden, Joe Biden, Biden administration, however you want to refer to him, whether it's the he's not my president, that's cool. Whether he is, yay, my president, that's cool too. Whatever you want to do there when it comes to Biden, that's up to you. But he did pass a law in January of this year that gave the FDA the ability to no longer have animal trials for foods, for medicines, for whatever else. They could go straight to human trials, which a lot of people are going to say, yay, save the animals and whatever else. And listen, I went vegan for a very long time, two, almost three years I went vegan. And then I was vegetarian and now I'm back to, look, I had bacon for breakfast, bacon and eggs. So if, you know, I'm obviously not vegan anymore or vegetarian at that. I want to say that the not testing on animals first is going to be detrimental to us humans because they're going to go straight to clinical trials in humans with new medicines and stuff like that. And we already know that that can have a very negative effect on a person, okay? So I just wanted to just put it out there. If you are in the, I don't know if this is the right phrase for this, the market for new medication for any reason, do your research on it first. Don't just trust a doctor who's getting paid by an insurance company that's getting paid by the drug administration to prescribe something to you. Make sure you're doing your own research on these things and ensuring that whatever they're trying to make you take, that it has been tested. And if it was only tested in humans, make sure it didn't kill nine out of 10 humans. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you're really paying attention to that. Now, same thing with food. Over the pandemic, food uh, companies were given kind of a free leeway to change up ingredients and not have to change labeling on their packages because we had such a supply chain shortage with different things, whether it was, you know, a spice, whether it was dairy, whether it was eggs, chicken, whether it was grain, corn, soy, whatever, there were some shortages and companies were having to make little baby tweaks here and there. Some of them made larger tweaks and the, the money it would have cost these companies to go through and change their labels and do all this other stuff was exorbitant. So government, Biden administration was like, hey, listen, you don't have to change everything on your label. As long as you haven't added in an allergen, you don't have to make these changes. Well, here's the problem there. And I figured this out myself over the summer when I had a severe allergic reaction to something I used to eat all the time. Just because they don't um, add in allergens doesn't mean that them doubling up or tripling up on something already in their formula for their food, whatever it is, um, it doesn't mean that that in, in itself won't cause you to have an allergic reaction, which is what happened to me. I'm allergic to coconut oil and Taco Bell, I'm, I'm telling you guys my story here if you didn't see it over the summer, Taco Bell, their refried beans, they, um, they use coconut oil in it. It's never bothered me, like it's always been perfectly fine, but over the summer, I'm guessing tweaks were made because it was hard to find olive oil, it was hard to find canola oil, it was hard to find vegetable oil. If you guys remember, I talked about it then, going to Sam's Club and Costco, you could not find these things, it was almost impossible to find. So a lot of places were moving over to different different ingredients to use. Well, Taco Bell must have upped their, their coconut oil because I had a severe, severe allergic reaction to Taco Bell while we were in Colorado and it was very, very, very bad. So. Um, the reason I'm mentioning this is that now we have insects being used in food and the reason this is important is because the insects that are being used in food are crickets and crickets are in the same family as um, shellfish which if you have an allergy to shellfish you will have an allergy to cricket to cricket powder I mean there's a whole 
plant or farm or whatever of it in Canada and there's a lot of new food things <laughs> that will be coming out here now and in the future that are going to end up using cricket powder because they're trying to move away from things that are what what they're deeming for weird reasons detrimental to our climate and whatever else and you know methane from cow farts and everything else and uh how hard it is to grow soy and grow corn and and stuff because of droughts and because of floods because of climate well crickets i guess you can grow a cricket anywhere so cricket flour cricket powder is going to be used a lot more and they don't have to tell you sometimes in in these labels so people need to start really paying attention to what you're eating and I just wanted to bring that up. That's something that I thought was highly important that we need to talk about. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is the fact that I've had people comment on my videos. Hey, listen, where's like the good news? How come you ever talk about anything good? And I understand that. I understand that sometimes all of the day-to-day, -day, I'm going to say negativity or negative things can be overwhelming for people. There are a lot of people out there who, for some reason prefer that kind of thing they don't want the good stuff they want to constantly be reminded of all the bad that's going on and I don't want to be your constant reminder of bad I don't want you to think of squirrel tribe and go oh she brings really bad news that's that's not what I want this to be I want you guys to see this as squirrel tribe man she brings stuff that other people aren't talking about she brings information that I never would have thought to look for I never would have thought of it this way thankfully thankful for her and her, her viewers her subscribers who in the comments also give their two cents and add to it or bring other stuff to light that we may not have thought of or seen I want this to be a community where we help each other as opposed to oh no what bad things do we have to talk about today because here's what happens a lot of time especially for I'm gonna say single individuals or somebody who does not have somebody else to talk to you can get so caught up in all the bad things that are going on or all the things that can be deemed negative and deemed bad that it starts to really weigh on you, weigh on your mind, weigh on your heart, weigh on your soul, weigh on your shoulders, you know what I mean? And you find yourself with this, this face all the time and this just sense of anxiousness and, and anger maybe and um, scared and whatever else. And I wanna just remind people that sometimes you have to take a step back which is why today I'm not making the video I was going to make with the articles and the everything else because it would have been 45 minutes of of bad if you will and I don't I don't really I don't want to do that today. I I personally need to step back from that after yesterday's video and then talking about what I talked about on Squirrel Tribe 2.0 with the SB5599 I needed to step back today and so today I took time with my husband to go out and just hang out we made some videos for his channel but those aren't those are a little bit different to me because those are everyday things involving money and um, that was that's a different kind of topic um but anyway so getting to hang out today I went and looked at the water went and just sat down for a minute um, we're at Starbucks getting um, um, I, I actually got an iced matcha latte because I need a little antioxidants in my life today and you just have to remember every once in a while just take a step back you have to shut your brain off sometimes you have to shut the TV off shut off YouTube shut off everything and just step back and breathe a little try to like refocus on what's important for you and your family and or, or whatever and not let everything that's happening in this world just kind of make you feel like crap and I, I just want to point that out I think everybody needs some place positive that they can either go something positive they can do somebody positive they can talk to so like I've said before anytime you feel like it's too much with with what's going on whether it is like the trains the water the food the whatever find something whether it's to read a book go watch something funny on TV go walk your neighborhood or go walk around somewhere and just breathe in fresh air getting fresh air and sunlight really will make a massive difference in your mood in your mind in your health also if everybody's always crammed inside and you don't ever get outside it's gonna affect your health over time too so those are just things that like random little things that I wanted to mention to you guys because there is going to be and I, I like I, I want to make a very positive video for you like I really truly do but I also want to make sure that you are still cognizant of what is happening because I mentioned to you in yesterday's video I'm pretty sure I mentioned to you in yesterday's video that I've noticed a decline on fresh fruits and vegetables at the grocery stores and I feel like we're gonna see that a little more right now um, as certain countries that we normally import from are having drought issues and, and whatever else our own country that we normally would go to different areas whether it's California or someplace else they're having you know 
massive floods or they're having uh, rain or they're having tornadoes or, or there's like the train derailments and things are spilling. So I do think that we really need to pay attention right now with what is going on, but don't forget to breathe. It, it's one of those things. I do it all the time. I get going and going and going and going and I can feel myself giving myself anxiety and I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. You got to step back. You got to breathe. You got to woo saw it. You got to meditate. You got to do something to get your mind out of where it is right now. It doesn't mean forget it all. It doesn't mean don't know that it's there. It doesn't mean um, don't pay attention, but it, it does mean you have to have a little breather, a little, a little something else in your life besides just the negative things going on around the country, around the world. So whatever you have that is positive for you, make sure you, you you focus on it at least once a day. You know what I mean? Mine being the family, the man and, and the kid. I focus on them often and it brings me back to a sane, um, a sane, happy place as opposed to a worrying and anxious place that I get into when I'm doing the research for, for these videos and when I'm thinking about how this is affecting the people in the areas that I'm talking about, how it's affecting the people um, that don't have the ability to get out of these places or the elderly or the um, uh, food insecure or the ones who are maybe in a lower uh, income bracket, things like that. I think about these things all the time and it starts to weigh on me heavily and people will be like, I think it's because you're an empath. I have no idea. I do know if I see somebody crying, I'm going to start crying. If I see somebody hurting, it's going to hurt me and I'm going to want to fix it. So I don't know if that's an empath or not. Maybe, possibly. Um, and I, I know that you guys are probably waiting for all the, the, the dots and the, the news and the whatever else. And I apologize for not bringing that to you today. I will make up for it tomorrow. But today, I myself just needed to step back and just breathe a little. You know what I'm saying? Everybody needs, I want to call it a mental health day. A lot of people... There's a lot of people out there who roll their eyes when you're like, I need a mental health day. Like, oh my gosh, it's not that bad, you know, Susan, whatever. And I'm like, yeah, it is. Everybody needs those those moments where they can literally just be. Whether it is you want to hang out in bed all day long and not do a damn thing and just veg out all day long, find a way to do it. My kid, every once in a while, she'll be like, Ma, I need a mental health day. There's so much going on at school with the kids that bully each other and then whatever else, and it's just too much and it's overwhelming and I just need a day. And I say, okay, cool, let's hang out. We will watch rom-coms, we'll eat um, you know, veggie sticks and carrots and whatever else and we'll have like bubbly water and we'll just sit here and we'll chill all day long. We'll talk about whatever you wanna talk about and it helps her so that the next day that she goes back to school, she's in a better mind frame. It helps me because then I know my child is in a good mind frame, you know what I mean? So that's just, um, I just wanted to bring all of that up to you guys. I don't know that this is going to be helpful to anybody whatsoever, but it is for me. And so you guys, uh, this, this platform for me is kind of like my own little baby version of therapy because I get to talk things out in a way that, I mean, sometimes, sometimes for you guys, you don't have anybody that you can have conversations like this with. Thankfully, I do. I have the man, I have the kid, I have my mom, I have friends. I can have these conversations with people. But sometimes, even myself, I just want to talk it out without response. And that's what this helps me do. I talk these things out on the regular videos, everything, not just this one. But I talk out, you know, what I'm reading and my thoughts on it and whatever else. And it helps me immensely. And then when you guys get the ability to watch those things and then jump in the comments and you get to talk out your side, I hope it's helpful for you as well. Talking things out generally is helpful for a lot of people. And if you don't like to talk things out, get a notebook. Y'all, I have so many little journal notebooks all over the place, it's ridiculous. And every once in a while, I'll pull out a pen and I'll just jot some something down to get it out of my mind, out of my, off my chest, whatever else, and then go about my day. And it, it's very, very helpful. So I would also suggest that for you guys. If you have the ability to just five minutes a day, write something down or just record something, whether it's just for yourself or not, just to get it out of there, get it out of your brain, out of your heart and, and whatever else. It is, it is very, very beneficial. You don't have to tell anybody about it. It's like your own little personal therapy that nobody needs to know you're doing unless you want them to. Um, it's just a thought that I had for you guys. Listen, I love you all immensely, which is why I'm here, which is why I do what I do, because I love you immensely. And I just want the absolute best for everybody. And I know the best is different for every single person. I know the path to getting there is different for every single person. But I do believe that every single person out there, no matter what situation you are in, has the ability to be happy. Um, 
maybe not 100% of the time. I don't think anybody's happy 100% of the time. I, I think that's impossible to, to be. But I also don't think somebody has to be unhappy 100% of the time. I think that if you focus on being happy or, or, or whatever else some of the time, you will be happy some of the time. It's just the way it works. What If you think you can't or you think you can, you're right. I think that's how the phrase goes. If you think you can do something, you think you can be happy, if you think you can focus on something that'll lift your spirits, you can. If you think you can't, unfortunately you can't. And then that's going to just keep you in this like weird little ugh place and you don't want to live there. Nobody wants to live in ugh. You know what I mean? I'm mean, going to spell that, but you don't want to live there. I don't want you to live there. So what I'm going to try to do, and hopefully you're okay with it, leave a comment below and let me let me know your thoughts. What I would really, really like to try to do is that um, I have, I have the technically I have three channels. I have Squirrel Tribe here, which is news and, and things like that and my thoughts on what's happening. Then I have Squirrel Tribe 2.0, which is more literally about my life. It's more of a vlog. It's where I just like vomit out whatever thoughts and whatever's in my head that has nothing to do with what we talk about on, on here on Squirrel Tribe. And then I have Squirrel Tribe shorts, which every once in a while I'll throw up a short it just because whatever. Um, so I have those things and I'm hoping that you guys here, uh, my dudes, on uh, Squirrel Tribe would be okay if maybe on um, maybe on Mondays or maybe on Fridays, I, I don't think I could do it every single video because it would be difficult, but I would like to one day out of the week, yes, we'll talk news and we'll connect dots, but I would like to really bring you just good things that have happened um, through the week. And I don't know if Monday or Friday is better. I don't know if it's better to start the week that way or end the week that way. I'm thinking Friday would be really good. Um, but I'd really like to do something like that. And hopefully you're interested in it. I would like your feedback on that. If you would leave me uh, a comment below on if you'd like a, just a little baby ray of sunshine, a little silver lining um, some days, uh, I would appreciate your input on that. Listen, I'm not going to make you stay here a very long time. These are just things I wanted to mention to you, my thoughts on, on all of that. There has been a lot that has happened in the last 24 hours since yesterday's video. I will bring it to you in tomorrow's video on top of the other things we're going to talk about. Tomorrow's video will be important, and I'd like you to be in a good mood before you get there. That way, the things that we talk about don't don't bother you. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like thinking of the things as being bothersome. I, I like to look at it as being informed and aware as opposed to not. I think of it, I think of Squirrel Tribe as an informative place to be versus a scary place to be. And I hope you guys agree with that. I hope, I, I really do hope that when you're here, you don't think, you don't think that it's a, a bad negative place to be, that it is a good place to be, that you're, you're happy you were here so that you learned a little something or you found something out you might not have known before and so that you can pay attention to more stuff. I don't know exactly how to phrase that, but that's how I'm feeling about it. Look, I don't have my AC on in here. It's getting a little warm in this Florida sun. I love you all immensely. I hope you are having a fabulous Tuesday, and I hope the rest of your day goes well. I hope tomorrow, until we see each other again, goes even better. Um, thank you for letting me just kind of do this and get this out there the way I, I needed to and wanted to for myself today. I uh, appreciate it immensely, just so you are aware. And I will see you guys again tomorrow on Hump Day, my dudes. One of my favorite days out of the week, just because I get to say Hump Day. I need to get a shirt with a camel on it and the Squirrel Tribe logo. I think that'd be kind of fun. Um, I'll let you guys go now. Have a great rest of your evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.